hello guys how are you all so today we are going to discuss a topic uh, which every data scientist face while we train uh, our machine learning models and we use them for a new predictions so uh, you see a lot of time that when we have very huge amount of data so training a model is quite a tedious task it takes lot of time to train the model so let's say you have trained any model and uh, then we again get some data related to that and then do uh, is this a good practice to train that model again with that data or to find that prediction no obviously not because it's not possible to keep training a data again and again if we have to do that practice that then the, it doesn't make any sense to create a model so uh, what uh, we can do we can create a model and then we can store that or save it to a file whenever it is required uh, to use that data use that particular model for a new predictions so we simply load that file load the saved model file and we can use it so i'm going to uh, let you know how to save and load uh, machine learning models so first i'll uh, i'll create a very basic machine learning model then i'll store it and then again i load it so that i can uh, judge that is that loaded model makes any changes to my predictions which i have already tried with the model when i have created that model so uh, guys i'm going to use a very simple data set first i'll import all the necessary libraries and i will create a machine learning model using linear regression so i have imported my data just a very basic data in which we have two columns uh, independent column uh, is area and dependent in price so obviously that a continuous uh, column dependent variable is continuous so i am going to apply a regression algorithm so i am choosing linear regression for that part so everybody know how to uh, create linear regression model so we simply import linear regression from linear underscore model and we create a object so i have create a object using model and then i have fitted my independent and dependent variable to this and this is dependent and this is independent and my model has been fitted now i need to check the coefficient because that uh, linear regression is based on the y equals to mx plus c equation so i need to check the coefficient and intercept so my coefficient value is 1 3 5 something and uh, the intercept of my model is this so i'm passing any value so that i can check what is the prediction which i am getting so i'm passing the area 5000 and need to check the price of 5000 which is almost uh, 885 lakh i believe so this is uh, it's 8 lakh 59000 sorry so you see that 4000 square feet price is 7000 2500 Oh, sorry, seven uh, seven lakh twenty five thousand. So the price of five thousand is should be more than this, and we get the value which is more than four thousand square feet. That is eight five nine five five four something. So we have created that model. Now I want to save this model so that I can use it whenever I need to predict something related to this type of data. so uh, what are the uh, options we have to save that model so we have we can use pickle to save that model we call that as serialization of machine learning algorithm and we save that serialized format to a file and further when we want to use that we simply load this file and deserialize model and try it to make new predictions so first we need to import the pickle because i am going to save my model using pickle so i have to import it i have imported pickle and this is the syntax which we use to dump our model or save our model so with open is the part of syntax model underscore underscore pickle is the name of my model which i am going to 
used to save this earlier the name of my model was um, model only now i have given a new name which is model, model underscore pickle wb is for write binary because that would be a binary file as file as a part of syntax then colon and pickle dot dump dump uh, we want to dump model as a file so with open the name which you want to give to this model write binary as file colon pickle dot dump because we are going to save or dump this model and the name of your model i have given model you can use any name it's not a fixed keyword and then file and simply run this so my model will get saved as a file you can see to our local host as well and uh, let me show you uh, model underscore pickle to this location model and um, let me show you this is so model underscore pickle file has been created and you see a second ago so this file has been created means my model has been saved now let's say i want to load this model so the syntax using pickle to load this model would be something like this with open and the name which we have given while saving that model so the name was model underscore pickle will be using read binary in place of write binary here so read binary as file colon and i have load this model and save to empty you can use any name pickle dot load file and i have stored this to empty now the uh, the model which i have uh, initially created the name was model only and then i have saved as a pickle pick, model underscore pickle and again i load that model and i have given the name as empty and then i am going to check the coefficient of empty so that i can just what are the changes here it is so the coefficient for mp is 135.78 so let me check the coefficient for the previous model that was 1.135.7 something so the same coefficient we can get this loaded model as well let me check the intercept as well uh, intercept we have calculated so which is 180616 and previous model intercept was 180616 so the same intercept as well and we are going to predict the same value here too so i have predicted 5000 square feet the area and it has given me this price and it's similar to the previous model prediction for 5000 it's quite same so no changes at all so once we save model and load it so it there is no changes to the behavior of your model so we are done with this so now let me know the another approach to save the model so we are using sklearn library now to save that model so uh, the module which sklearn provide us to save the model is joblib so first we need to import that from sklearn.externals we have imported joblib and everybody know that when we are we, when we use library our syntax uh, gets shorted so here as well joblib we are using to dump our model or to save our model joblib dot dump and that was the original model model and i am going to save this as model underscore joblib so i have simply run this uh, let me import the previous file this one so it has been imported and this has been dump so you see that model underscore joblib is there and let me refresh this so second ago you see model underscore joblib has been created to our local host i am um, now i want to load this so the syntax to load is joblib dot load and the name of your model which we have saved so the name was model underscore joblib so i have saved this to mj and i am trying to check the coefficient for mj as well and you see 13578 similar to the mp and the model 13578 no changes at all 
and then we have calculated intercept as well to make sure uh, 180616 and 180616 for mp as well 180616 for model as well which was our was our initial model right and then we applied 5000 to get the prediction of our model so this is also 859554 similar to the mp and model that was our initial model and that model which we have stored using pickle and the model mj is the model which we have stored using joblib so there is no difference either you use pickle or use joblib to dump and load your model this is the best technique so that you need not to train our model again and again hope you like that video i'll come up with some interesting topics as well Thank you guys. Take care. Keep learning.